Hi friends, um, so continuing on from the, my previous tutorial in which I created a simple port scanner this one will kind of uh, improve on it because in the previous one when I ran uh, this program it showed us this error so just to let's uh, modify it again just to quickly show you guys what it is supposed to do so in here uh, what it does is that this is a simple Python uh, a scanner a port scanner that uh, when it connects to another uh, computer it just grabs the banner of it so in here we have a computer host with the IP address of uh, 192.168.142.135 this is running Zubuntu and I have a CentOS running this has an IP address of 192 192.168.142.133 so in this uh, one I just uh, let me show you the contents of this one so I, in here I imported the socket mo module in here I created an object called sock which uses the socket method sorry the socket module and the socket method of the socket module so this is the, the, this socket refers to this this is the first socket it refers to the module socket and the second is a method of the socket module so in here I am using the socket method of the sock object that I created previously and I am connecting to this IP address 192.168.142.135 which is the IP address of this Ubuntu machine this 192.168.142.135 so in here I am connecting to port 22 which is SSH and then I have created a variable which uh, receives 4096 bytes so whenever you connect a service or another machine what it does the first thing that usually does is sends you its version or software version that it is running so in here I'm creating a that using the receive method of the SOC object to receive like 4096 bytes so it receives up to 4096 bytes from the remote host on this line I am printing the banner and then the banner is the contents the contents of the banner variable and then I'm closing the socket so but the problem was that uh, when i run this uh, against so we are running port number 22 on ssh on port number 22 however we are not running smtp so if we connect on port 25 we get this error so how do we avoid this kind of an error so we can do it if you use a try statement so if you say try if you say a try and accept a statement we use this so in here let's do this and after what we do is that uh, we are saying get rid of this line for now being let's go down and then what we do is we use the accept and then we say socket dot error as error and then print error so in here let's print it let me type in this first and then I'll explain it so in this try block what it does is that it's the same as the previous one that I explained it tries to connect to port number 25 which is SMTP which we are not running on Zubuntu it receives a banner of up to 4096 bytes if it receives it it prints the banner if it then it closes the uh, the socket that we have created except socket.error as error so if you are receiving any kind of an error it saves it as you know, to a variable let's say you can see that it saves it in a variable called error so in here what you're doing is that you're printing that error so let's now save it let's just check it quickly if it is right or not a socket uh, sock that connect 25 burner yeah it seems okay to me so now let's run this so if we run this port scanner however sorry mm -hmm nano port scanner as error line number 11 port scanner to put invalid syntax socket dot error 
why is it showing me an except socket sorry sorry yeah what am I yeah this is how it works oh, sorry <laughs> about this uh, yeah so let's run this now we can see that uh, this time we get an error previously we saw this uh, we got this like this three four lines which didn't make much of a sense to us and it was kind of ugly so by using the try and uh, accept statements uh, what we did was uh, our try and accept blocks what we did was that we reduced it all these lines of uh, error to just one simple line which says that the connection is refused so this is how we can simplify it guys we can this is like uh, this makes it better looking and uh, it kind of simplifies it it's good practice programming practice to use uh, these uh, statements uh, however uh, there is another problem that sometimes you're when you're connecting to some ports that doesn't reply like let's say port number 80 uh, or some other ports that doesn't uh, reply back to you so what it does is that um, so let me uh, nano to this so uh, currently i'm not running port 80 i'm not running uh, so just a second let's see if i have this in here on this uh, if you do sudo service apache status just type in our password come on service apache I don't know I have it or not but if I do it is, no it's not running so if you do service as uh, Apache start okay let's use this you so here we are logging as a root and let's uh, start it service apache start so it's the directing bin apache failed to load no such file directory so sorry it is i think service centos i think calls it httpd not apache so let's check the status of it is it running or not so it's not so let's start this uh, httpd now let's check the status of it now we can see that it's running however uh, in here so let's change it the IP address of that machine of the CentOS was 133 so if we save it and let's say we run this Python so no host no route to host why is it saying this so let's port scanner 192.133 133 let's bring it on like 2168 142 133 so we can ping it however when we are using it to uh, it is running we can see that it is running in here the service is running and act is active and running strange so why isn't it working? Nano put the scanner the pi one ninety two one sixty eight one thirty three. Let's open a browser. All my page ice visual one ninety two one sixty eight one forty two one thirty three. So this tutorial is getting kind of uh, uh, long guys uh, and this one I let me go back I showed you guys how to make it uh, even simpler if you're to, uh, connecting to a service that is not running um, instead of getting a long error how to refine it and make it simple so this is it for this tutorial guys on the next tutorial I'm going to be explaining uh, uh, the uh, timeouts so if you're connecting to a port like port 80 it doesn't if it doesn't reply so how do you um, uh, set the timeout so that it doesn't wait for like forever? So this is it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, I hope you found it educative, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.